Hi. So in this video, we are going to be exploring how to translate a schematic, okay, a circuit schematic design as shown here into a breadboard. Alright, so in this circuit, we have three resistors, a 1K, 2K and 3K. Alright, and in this design, we can say that the 1K is series with 2 and 3 in parallel. Alright, because at this point, alright, when the current flows into this junction, it will split into the 2K and the 3K, which means that the 2K and 3K are parallel. Alright, and that will be in series with the 1K. Alright, so that is the idea. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you how we can translate this to a breadboard circuit. Alright, um, so here I have a battery source. Alright, so maybe I'll just change this to 9 volt as well, so it's easier to relate. Okay, so as before for a breadboard okay if you have not seen my earlier videos on breadboarding uh, skills and techniques and introduction please look at that first all right so as always uh, i always like to uh, usually connect the power supply to the top row and bottom row so the positive is the top row negative is the bottom row all right and i'm going to bring my resistors over here all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, connect my resistor this way um, so again it's, it's up to you how you want to connect up your components all right um, there are no maybe uh, I would say right or wrong way of doing it as long as you follow the rules of how uh, the actual layout is and you are following the same circuit connections in the in the breadboard okay but as always I, I like what I like to say is that uh, make the layout neat all right and and visually appealing so that it's easy to relate the breadboard layout with the schematic okay so let's do the first 1k first so i'm going to connect this resistor here so this is the 1k and i'm going to connect this wire here all right so this is the 1k resistor all right over here so this is the 1k resistor now the 2k and 3k are supposed to be parallel but then there is a common point over here all right now how do i lay this out i can try to lay it out in a similar fashion all right to how the um, uh, circuit design is all right so i'm going to put the one resistor here okay and i'm going to name put this as 2k and I'm going to put another resistor here and this will be 3K. Okay, so 1K, 2K and 3K. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this wire here, connect this wire here and so on. So both the 2K and 3K resistors are connected across the gap in the middle of the breadboard. Okay, and what I need to do is I need to make sure that the second leg of the resistor is connected to a common point for the 2k and 3k so for the 2k and 3k i'm going to create a common link over here so the two legs are connected to this junction and this junction is connected here all right so what do you see you see that the current that comes out of the positive goes here flows through r1 then it's connected here and at this junction it is the same as this junction which is the point over here this point here Okay, the 2K and 3K are connected. Now, after the current splits into the 2K and 3K, they must join back together over here before going back to the negative of the supply. So, what I need to do, I need to make sure that there's a wire connecting the other leg of the 2K and 3K, uh, the other two legs of the 2K and 3K. So, the current splits into 2K and 3K comes back and joins at this point, and then I bring it back to the negative of the supply all right so this is how you can lay out the components on the breadboard and do the wiring okay so as as, as i said before you can lay out the components and do your breadboarding in, in any other way that you deem fit all right as long as you ensure that the way the circuit is designed the current flow is matching with the circuit schematic all right so that is very important okay so i hope now you have a better idea how to connect up a series and parallel circuit together okay thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video
बाय